You will create a part family for modeling a screw in this practical example. This type of block is very useful when there is a mechanical element that displays several standard measurements. And you need to use different specifications when being inserted, for example, changing the diameter or screw pitch. So let's take advantage of our knowledge to create the part family based on this screw. Open the block in the block editor and you can see there are already geometric and dimensional constraints. There are some properties that need to be configured in the block so the part family can be created. Let's start by configuring standard screw lengths. This configuration will be defined using the dimensional constraint named C, which refers to the screw length here. So select this constraint and open its properties. In the value set option group, select disk type from the list option. Click the reticence button displayed on the disk value list. Register the standard lengths in the dialog box and then confirm the data input. Now let's register the other screw dimensions. For this reason we create a block table. Go to the block editor tab and then the dimensional panel to select the block table. Click a point in the graphic workspace to fix the parameter position and define the grip display. After defining these properties, the block properties table dialog box opens. Click this button to select the parameters that will be used in the table. You need to select the following parameters, AC, which refers to screw head height here. DC, this means screw head diameter. DR, this means thread diameter. Now click this button to insert a customized parameter. The parameter is named P and it is used to input the thread pitch. This data is used for calculating the fillet height. Now you'll create another parameter for modeling each screw variation. Insert all these values in the table from the data in the screw dimensions PDF file. Then confirm it in the dialog box. To conclude, double click the D3 to select it. Type the expression 0 0.61343 multiplied by P. Now the screw part family has been created. Let's test it by clicking test block. See how two grips are displayed. 
you can control the screw length using the grip on the screw body. See how you can increase and decrease the block lengths. But on this grip next to the block, you can control which screw standard will be displayed. See, when you alternate between these options, the screw dimensions are updated based on the previously defined data. So in this practical example, you've learned how to create a screw part family. These types of blocks make project conclusions easier. For this reason, practice using these tools and create part families for standardized components frequently used in your daily design work. This will greatly facilitate project drafting. Take advantage of AutoCAD system tools and resources to save time and money in your project design.